All right, hey, hey. Welcome back to Riven. Everyone. Hi. Who is Jordan Mallory and Keith Carberry and John Davies? Hey. Hey. We're still in this office. Good. Hey. I like this office. This is a nice looking. This is a nice office. This, this is a I nice like office. I like the aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. Like my bench. office. We can get a lot done in here. I uh, I apologize if I seem a little out of it or you know evoke that of a man on the brink of insanity because I spent eight hours today delivering four hundred phone books. How'd that go? So it took a long time, and I have more to do later. And yeah. Later today? No, just later this week. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Should have specified what kind of later I was talking about. Yeah, we're gonna do Riven, then I'm gonna deliver these books. Just a just a tip. Even though it sounds shitty to have to split the money with somebody, if you're gonna be delivering phone books, make sure you got another person to do it with you. Yeah. Because if you could have like a getaway driver, I'm sure that shit would go way easier. Wait, you're getting out of your car to do this? Um, you know, it's sometimes it requires that. I just thought a getaway driver was a funny thing to say. <laughs> but like, yeah, if I you mean, have that, a, a getaway driver would be fun. I I'm, I imagine that you are like kind of straddling the center console so that you can drive with your left hand and left foot. Uh -huh. And then you're yep. just throwing <laughs> phone books yeah. out the passenger window. Uh-huh. I think the problem with that, I think that's a great idea. Even if even but it's not it's not a newspaper it's like a, it's like a heavy phone book right no no it's a very small one it's a I okay, actually so it's oh, throwable it was so good I had a guy I I threw the phone book right and it kind of made a loud you know it, it landed in such a way that it made a loud noise on uh, this man's front stoop uh, such that he heard it and uh, I he must have knew exactly what was going on to have launched out of his chair. And gotten outside quickly enough to to uh, shout me back to complain about the fact that oh oh no there are no Windows oh, XP updates. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh man, what? How the many times is that gonna happen tonight? <laughs> Anyways, this guy uh, came out to complain to me that uh, that. It's because it's a commercial phone book. It's just a bunch of businesses. So he was complaining yeah. at me uh, that it wasn't a residential phone book, so it was useless, and he was just gonna throw it out. And also that he never gets residential uh, phone books anymore. And he even he like shook it and was like, "My name's not even in this. <laughs> like, how how what do I even do? And Is, how do so I wait, get a? Were, was this Navin Johnson? Was this Navin R Johnson? Who what? There was a bit in the movie The Jerk where he was super excited to see his name in the phone book, like it was a confirmation of his identity. <laughs> yeah, speak. Yep, but today we find his name. It's, I'm there. I'm somebody. I actually just played Seen It the other night, and uh, I got a, a question that played a clip from The Jerk, um, and it was basically the only part of The Jerk that I really remember, which is... Cans? Which is the cans, when he's yeah. pumping gas, this and I, these cans. A, a man trying to shoot him with a rifle keeps missing and hitting oil cans, and he comes to the conclusion that this man with a gun hates these cans. <laughs> that's like, a great that's a movie. Really phenomenal movie, yeah. 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 I've that's, actually that's never pretty... seen it. Oh, John, it's so good. Really good. It really, really holds up. It's, it's like, it, it is like A-class absurd is humor uh, it's re it's really solid hmm. let's was there did we have more business to do with this rotating room thing no I think I think we because there were three oh there, there's still that other door that we got to but couldn't open do you remember that maybe because because there are three doors in this room, but only two openings, so we can only access two of them at a time, because of the way yeah. that the pentagon inside the room rotates. And so we opened the gates enough that we now have this shortcut between that island and the other island where the office is, but there was another door in there that was behind a grate, and we were able to open the grate, but the door was still closed. 
I'm trying to remember exactly what our order of business is right now. I think it's finding all those domes and, like, opening them. Mm -hmm. So we already did this. Yeah, we did this already. So, so there, but there I, is a there is another door that we can get to if we rotate it from here. Like spin it two more times. Right? I think. Doesn't it mean we'll get to whatever is on this side? Yeah. But is that anything? But I think it's a. Do I think remember? it's a door that we haven't opened yet. But I don't know if we've done something else since the last time we were here that may have opened that door. Well, these levers on the side here. Uh, that all open and close one door each, like this one. Like I think we mm -hmm. we might have raised some of those. We did. We raised all of them, but it was we. Ra that's a grate in front of that door, right? And so we raised yeah. all the grates, but there was still a door that was closed. Oh. I don't like that. I can hit spacebar to skip animations, but I can't skip through sequences of listening to sounds, which is a yeah. That's weird. People in the chat are asking me why I don't like uh, Family Feud, <laughs> and okay. uh, and I said I don't like that you can be wrong even if you're right. And Lumberjack no. says it's not about answering correctly; no. it's about predicting the popular responses. Exactly. Yeah, that's bullshit. It's stupid. No, but that's the game. Yeah, I don't like the game. That's what I'm saying. That <sighs> it's not that I don't understand the game; it's that I think the game is bad. You'll learn when you're older, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have a family to appreciate Family Feud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Single guys like us, like we we just we're not operating on that level, you know. Oh, I thought you were referencing my broken family. Oh no. No. Oh wait, okay. <laughs> there are there are, so there's only five paths through here. One of them is the way that leads to where we started. One of them is this place with the door. Right. The, the third one is this one over here with the dumb lever that does nothing. Uh the fourth one leads to the golden dome and the fifth one is where we just came from to get here. What the fuck was that? Did someone just that dial a phone? phone? Shit, that... sorry, I, I had a I had a thing. <laughs> John, are you on an actual telephone? <laughs> no. Yeah, I am. I'm Listen, on my. That's not the first time that we've had a, we've had a guest that we know in real life that was calling in using a telephone when they were supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, there's no I'm button on, on this side. A, uh, I'm on a Nokia flip phone, actually. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, that that lever activated the grain silo thing above the, us, but we don't have the code yet to open the manhole cover. Yes, and we won't have that for a very, very, very long time. Well, it's good that it's the very first thing that they show you in the yeah. whole game. John? John, stop it. Sorry, I'm getting situated in my bed here, and I'm hitting all sorts of stray keys. John, you sit at a desk like a goddamn professional. <laughs> There's nothing professional about this setup, Keith. Kyle's stuff is pretty sophisticated. He's got a mixer. Yeah, bro. Come on. I've got fucking mini peanut butter crackers in my bed. I Ooh, mean, on one's... my Whoa. bed. So it's, Whoa. It's, hardly, it's, it's kind of a mess. You eat I'm eating Chinese food. I eat crackers in bed because I don't give a fuck. Right? Not in my bed, you don't. Well, you know, there are limits. Kyle, um, I, th I think I think the best chance that we have for progress right now is either with those domes or in the office. Yeah, but since we got the side that I can skip over... Oh, yeah, okay. So this is the last one, and yeah, it just leads here. So that place is done now. Okay. Um, I probably would have used a walkthrough about 69 minutes ago, but that's just me. Uh, apparently, we've made good progress so far. Oh, I know that we have. Yeah. And, like, I, it's, it's weird because, like, the progress that we've made... Uh, like, my read on this game is is different than with Mist because with Mist, it, like, even though it was my first time through it with y'all, it was still e really easy for me to tell, like, when we had done something correctly and when yeah. we had fucked up and when we were, like advancing yeah. stuff but like we've done a whole bunch in this game so far but like I don't feel like there's really been any plot advancement at all yet like we haven't talked to anybody and we won't for a while man yeah it's not in the first game at least we were like having like sketchy radio messages 
Right. Yeah, we were talking to Cirrus and Akinar. And there's definitely nobody like that in this game. That's what, what I was getting at when I mentioned before that they're... The, the game feels a lot more isolated. Right. Wait, was there not an age in there still? Uh, no, it's there. Oh, okay. Are we just not um, gonna, not gonna do it? No, we can't. The... We have to open like all the domes, I think, or something like that. Oh, okay. The the campiness of the Sears and Akinar uh, FMV stuff was like really fun, and I thought that the story they were doing was interesting, and it was like a cool, but like. Those really dragged, and I'm yeah, pretty yeah. glad that those aren't in here because, as good <laughs> as they were, they were each about uh, like eighty percent uh, blank space and f and like filler noises. That's true. Hey man, it's about the mood. Yeah, put me in a shitty mood. <laughs> uh, and your guy's really trucking, right? I don't even have yeah. zip mode turned. Well, on. Kyle's been listening to a lot of Grateful Dread. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we didn't Thought go it, here. I didn't say it. We didn't go here. Oh, right. Uh, ooh. Yeah, this is probably a good thing. We didn't see this last time. Oh. I don't think there's anything mm. to call the thing. Or maybe that's the button that's inside. If there's a button inside. You should go push the button. Yeah. There's a button. Push that button. What's your if Mrs. taught me anything. If, if Mrs. taught me anything, I should push all buttons. If there's a button, push the button. What's your favorite Chinese food dish? Peking raviolis. Sesame chicken. Sesame chicken? Wait, yeah. no. General Gao's chicken. Okay. Uh, uh, teriyaki chicken, I think. Probably. Kyle, you almost had me at first because Peking raviolis tied for my first with Crab Rangoon. Oh, Crab Rangoons. Crab Rangoon is super good. I think yeah, Crab Rangoons are at the top of my list. I forgot about Crab Rangoons. I think the reason I have to dock Peking Raviolis is because they are so insanely, diabolically greasy that it's impossible to eat one without feeling a little bit like you've died inside. Yeah, but I feel like that with all Chinese food. Like, I feel really terrible after I eat any Chinese food. So it's hard to take away points from... Uh, eating raviolis for that. You are <laughs> fucking kidding me. Sorry, Keith, you cut out a little bit there, but I assume it was just because we were going through a tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was saying, um, uh, yeah, reception was bad in the, in the tunnel. Um, I basically said I, I feel bad docking any points for one particular Chinese food being so greasy that it makes me feel like I want to die because all of it is that. But uh, you must admit that the Peking ravioli is particularly egregious. Ooh, this is cool. Um, yeah. The ones that the, I've the one the place that is my usual place has uh, really nicely not greasy Peking ravioli. Okay. Hey, uh, Keith, remember, uh, speaking of food, remember when you were telling me about the, uh, the ham, the Whole Foods ham? Yeah, oh, the Whole Foods ham! What's up? Tell me about this! I want to hear follow-up Well, it. I haven't gotten it yet, but oh, every God. time I go into my Whole Foods, I eye the most expensive ham there, and I'm like, oh, I should get it, because Keith said it was so I, good, but how, how do I know it's the you same You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you have to take that chance. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, here's what you do. You go into whoa. Whole Foods. Whoa, okay. That looks awesome. You look for, you ask for the ham. The most expensive ham. They'll say American or European, and you say European, and then you just fucking eat that ham, all of it, the whole thing. It's so good. Are we talking about a, a little uh, Jambon Royale? Is that what we're talking about here? I can't remember the name, and it's the it's. I've never been as upset as I am about not remembering the name of that ham. All right, so here's my issue with the Whole Foods cold cuts. I go to the, you know, remember I was telling you about that sandwich that I really love? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's with the smoked turkey. They yeah. fucking changed the smoked turkey, so it tastes like roasted turkey. Now I don't taste the smokiness, and it's it's. That's good. My, uh, good. That's my. I don't want that smokiness. Get that smokiness but I love out of that here. Smoke. I sometimes I'm in the mood for a nice smokiness. Kyle. Yeah. Is this <laughs> the? Uh, is are these shapes the same shapes from the diagram in the control room dome? Yes, I believe okay. so. And these appear to correspond to the islands of Riven. 
okay. which means that the shapes also have a significance. Um, I, I mean, so are we flooding an island whenever we? Ah, uh, that seems unlikely. Rude. Um, which is, do we remember? Like, which is which? Hmm. I don't remember there being a giant hole in any of them yet. We've only been to two of them, right? Is this? Hold on. No, I, we've I been. I think we've been to, to four of them. I think this is the fourth one. Hold on. I missed the setup to this slide. Is this a giant ravine that we're looking down on, yes. or a yes. little table that we're looking at? No, no. This is a giant ravine. <laughs> it's a big way thing. up in the air. Yeah. Okay. So I think the tiny island on the top right is where we started. No, no, that's that's I think the only this is uh, the tiny one on the top right is either where we are right now or a place we haven't been to. I think it's I okay. think it's the former. We'll flood it and see what happens. If that's where we are right now. And I'm going to skip this animation cuz these flooding animations are long as fuck. No, my, oh, speaking of deli meats though, my uh my jam for the past year has been the boar's head buffalo chicken. Mm, you fed me some of that at PAX. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find it you, that's a weird way to put that <laughs> how did you find it no you fed me some of it oh, okay yeah I, <laughs> well you mean it sound like john like like you're like reclining on a shay lounge ooh. and like i won't divulge the particulars but you know so there's a reason why i put it that way okay so Man, this, this is a way better topographical extrusion test thing right? than yeah. on Mist. For real, though. Can you put your face in it? I was just going to say that. There, there should be an Easter egg for getting uh, John Leguizamo's face from the Super Mario <laughs> Brothers movie. God, is that the best part movie. of that entire movie? <laughs> it, it may very well be, Jordan. Okay. Uh, I think the best part of that movie is when uh, when Johnny Legs offers a ride to uh, the girl in a car that he knows is broken. Is, <laughs> that is my favorite part, absolutely. I think just the fact that Dennis Hopper's King Copa is the best part. Oh, shit. Just how do we really inspired casting. How, how do fix? Is it broken? It's like, yeah, it's off kilter. Okay, so if you go select one of the other islands, can we come back here and this doesn't have water in it anymore? And then we can get down there and fix its, like, tilt? That's a valid question. I don't think so. Okay. We'll go find out. Onward. I'll try to turn on zip mode. Let's see what... Zip mode. It's exactly the same. No, that oh, one was like okay. one screen faster. Great. Hey, man, on your speed run, that one screen makes a lot of difference. Right? Okay, and we get one block at a time of the island. Oh, I know what this is for, if I remember. Is it showing us which island that is? I think it'll show us somewhere on here where a thing of significance is. I think the domes that we're looking for. Okay. So let's see. I can't remember. I want to say that's the dome on the island that we started on. Yes. I think. Hmm. I'm not... Not seeing anything that stands out. Is this out a toy? There. No. Because Riven gives us a lot of toys. I don't think there have been that many toys. Yeah, you're right. There were actually a lot more in Mist than in this game. So what are we trying to do? 
Like you press that button whenever the gold one, whenever you can see the gold one, no, it stops it. No, you just push the button and it and it'll it'll stop the dome. But it, it has oh, to do okay. with like a view, viewfinder type thing, or maybe you do have to push it when it's gold. I don't know. Maybe you're right. That. Hmm. I was gonna say that looks like a ladder. <sighs> or go back one. You see that? Those things kind of look like you could climb on them. But yeah, I don't, but I don't, no. I don't think. I don't know. Can you look down at all anywhere? No. Okay, there's. We probably can't get down in there then. It just seems so weird. Like, how do I? I can't, wish I could remember. How do I fix this? It's just all fucked up. You can't look down at the fucked up part of it. No. Hmm. What about now? <laughs> no. Um, let's take a look at this big one. There's... Man, that looks really cool. This is like a thing. This That's like a dome, right? It's, yeah. Looks like a dome to me. I just, I feel like I remember there being like a thing on here that would be like highlighted in blue or something if it was significant what is is the chat saying anything um, no, they're being real quiet I, I mean they're saying Jeopardy stuff. John Mulaney is pretty funny uh uh Alex Trebek has no cards on Jeopardy Alex Trebek so, is hope legit. that helps what were you going to say, Kyle? Said Alex Trebek is legit. Alex Trebek's kind of a jerk, though. Oh, I think I remember what it is. I think we use we use this to figure out what, like, sector of the island has the dome thing on it. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's someplace else where we have to input that information. Okay. So I don't know. I don't think that this is particularly useful until we find that puzzle. Okay. Good to know that this is where that is, though. Hang on. I'm just gonna. Are, are, are you gonna reboot your virtual machine? Yes. Uh, all right, okay. we're safe. I want to see what this process is like. Uh, uh, Dvex says, oh man, this was the service they made in the MIT Media Lab as an example of future computer interfaces. Yeah, I think it was wicked cool. I saw that. What? Uh, it was like this. It was it was basically uh, a lot less defined version of what you were just doing. Um, and it was like showing, I think it was showing faces and less stuff. Less defined, huh? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is a video game. I'll try to find it. Oh my it. god, this is taking forever. I'm dying of old age and turning to ash as we speak. Which is a thing that happens when you die of old age. Yep, instantly into ash. It's where ashes to ashes comes from. Because as soon as you die, you just immediately just whoosh. Most people don't know that. That's pretty dark. It's it's part of a larger conspiracy about like the the portrayal of how death works in the media. Keith, what the fuck is Cam Frog? Cam Frog? You installed this on my computer while I was on vacation. What is that? Oh, I was trying to because I was using your webcam, um, and it told me that I need to download some software, and then it, I accidentally in installed that too with it. So you could just delete that. It was like, okay, download this driver, and I was like, okay, and then I accidentally said yes to it, and then I never uninstalled it because I didn't care. Sorry, it's just some just some dumb probably it's probably just some malware. Great. Yeah. Don't worry, Kyle, your internet explorer settings have been personalized. Great. Oh no, oh, this virtual this virtual Fuck. machine might be at risk. I, I think it would actually be absolutely wonderful and hilarious if I got adware on my virtual machine. <laughs> Uh, 
let, let us play Riven. Okay. Or actually, I think that will start the game. I think I gotta go up here and do open. Open save.riven, please. Did it actually install an update to the virtual machine? Me, okay, well, yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it was an update. The update is relating to the virtual machine itself and not actually just Windows XP. Because I know they don't do that anymore. Yeah, they haven't supported Windows XP in a hot minute, so, like, I don't know. <laughs> maybe this, what? maybe the, well, uh, maybe oh, the virtual on. machine is just oh. trying to give you the full experience. <laughs> yeah. And what, what exactly is the standard unit of time for a hot minute? You know, a hot minute. Like, uh, like a hot minute is longer than, like, a quick second. Okay. But smaller than a bread box. Yeah, it's smaller than a bread box. I think... Okay, this is a real small island. Who's making sounds? I was chewing on some ice. No, I mean, like, Windows computer sounds. Oh, not me. Probably yeah, this John. is just a big basin. Me is my com computer. I think. I think in this <laughs> scenario, this weird hole is the thing that we would be looking for. But okay. we. This is of no use to us. I'm just. Yeah. I don't want to leave because I feel like there's something that we should be able to do with this dome, but I just don't know what right now. I don't. I don't think we can do it yet. Let's. Let's go back downstairs and. You gotta get under the dome, bro. That's probably, yeah. That's Devious Vacuum says a hot minute is like 45 seconds. That's that's not true. Is there nothing? Right. Is there nothing whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. Look down. Can you look down? No, look I like tried. Like well, wait, yeah, hold on. Bio says that it's six New York minutes, so we can find out exactly oh. how long a New York minute. I think that's eluded me for a, a very long time. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever done anything in a New York minute. Um Yeah, most of my most of my New York based time is in half hour. Oh right, okay, hold on. We get in here. Oh, and you flip it. We turn back we out. turn around and then get back out, yeah. You drop down, flip it, and reverse it. Right. I think, Here we go. I think this is where shit gets real. I don't exactly remember why, but I just I have that sense that sense of shit about to become real. Oh, you found a little house. <laughs> you found Akinar's TARDIS. Nice. Turns out it's just an elevator to channel wood age. Oh, don't say that. Nice elevator, though. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like... Uh inefficient? I mean, why would you not just have a regular door? Mm -hmm. It seems like a really poor door design. Well, it was designed by a maniac who was uh, intent on having his own world. <laughs> like, dude probably wants a grand entrance to everything he does. Now it's actually a Bioshock game. This whole thing has just been the intro sequence to a Bioshock game. There's always, there's always a man, there's always a lighthouse, right? So, I think you're right. There's no lighthouse, though, so never mind. There's always a man, an archipelago, and a series of strange domes that need to be opened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the Bioshock uh, multiverse is infinite, Riven is happening somewhere in it. True. Oh no! Oh no! Spoilers, bro. Bitch, bitch, bitch stole my rail car.
Why does it have like a weird uh, dragonfly butt? Quick, sky hook onto that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh wow. Engage. I did not expect that to do something. Whoa. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, I am starting to wonder if maybe Ken Levine really liked Raven. I bet Ken Levine Probably. liked Raven. Yeah, that sounds like something he would like. This is a camera somewhere, right? Yeah. Wait, is this... Is this showing us... That... Wire that is attached to that handle on that bridge that's not taut? I don't know to what you are referring. Uh, outside of Gen's office, there's that handle on the bridge that doesn't do anything. It's because the wire that's attached to it isn't like top. No, it's I just actually like I slack. I was looking back on the recording from last night, and I think. Do you remember when we climbed? Like there was that weird frog trap, and then above it was the tube that we had to climb through. I mm -hmm. think I think that handle turned off of the fan on that because if we never looked at it, but if you look at it at the beginning of the game, the fan is spinning and you can't get through. Oh, okay. I think that lever turned off the fan. Actually, it's uh, it's interesting that these Bioshock uh, missed comparisons are being brought up because I think a few months ago, uh, Ronan Farrow had a segment on like games as art on his MSNBC or CNN show or whatever, whatever network he's on, and he interviewed Ken Levine and Rand Miller at the same time. Oh, really? Oh, weird. Wait, uh -huh. what? What was this? Ronan Farrow, um, on his show. I forget what channel it's on. Uh, he interviewed Ken Levine and Rand Miller on a oh. segment, just like, "Oh, our games aren't nowadays." Blah blah blah. Okay. There's a person. Is in this there. is this the school? Uh. Oh, who's that creepy person walking away? It's a lady. I don't know. What do you want from me? I want you to tell me who that is. So this looks like. Some kind of like surveillance system to watch over everything that's happening in Riven. Mm hmm. So I think. But what information are we supposed to glean from it? Well, I saw I saw the woman in what we think is the school, so I switched to like this outside camera that can. I think that's the school right there, so I thought maybe if I went. If I looked over there, I would see her coming out and walking away, but it doesn't seem like I'm seeing anything. What do the buttons do? Um, this one switches to inside the place, okay. and, I, and I can't spin the wheel in this one. Okay. And then this one just switches to the other one. And if I push it again, like the same one, it'll just turn off. Oh, weird. Okay, I see. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. This one, what is this one showing us? <sighs> oh, okay. All right. Oh, wait. I can't turn. Oh. What is happening? It's going by itself. There's some crazy shit going on in chat right now about pickles. <laughs> oh yeah, Keith, how's that going? Uh, it's in the fridge. It's in the fridge, and it's it's pick it's pickle cooking. This is kind of pickling. Uh, watermelon rinds. Oh wow. Yeah. What? Uh, I. It's super. It's a super long story that I'm about to tell the whole thing of. Uh, <clears throat> um, no, it's. <laughs> I did a. I did a video with uh with Andrew Swan where we ate a watermelon through the rind. Like we like an apple or another thing that you would eat the skin of, um, and uh, Devious Vacuum in the chat said you should 
you should pickle those. Uh, my mom pickles these, and you should do that. And well, I was like, sure, why not? I had vinegar and sugar, and that's all that it is. Uh, so I pickled like <clears throat> five cups of watermelon rind. It'll take three days. Kind of sounds like it. something they would pickle in the Portlandia sketch. <laughs> if you're familiar with that. I, yeah. It's, <laughs> we could pickle a watermelon rind. <laughs> <laughs> um, My favorite part of that story just... is that apparently Divac doesn't like those pickles that her mom makes or pickles much in general. Yeah. Yep. Which I didn't ask. I, I didn't ask. Oh, is, is this even good? Is this a thing that you've had? Like, no, she hasn't had it, and she does like pickles. Jordan. Yeah. Would you like to be our note taker slash symbol drawer? I, I would. I I already uh, have my materials left from last night, Great. so I'm ready to go. I think this might just be a thing where we want to write down these circle symbols that are down here and just the corresponding color. Okay. So this is green, obviously. I probably shouldn't have to explain this to you. I think you can see. Is that green? It's blue on my screen. That's green. Okay. For the sake of argument, I'll concede that it's green. Okay. Thank you for your concession. <laughs> uh, this one is yellow. Uh, let me get the angle right on this eyeball. Uh, Lucas says, uh, Keith, how did you even get a jar large enough for a watermelon? It's cut up into pieces, and I put it in a in a, <laughs> uh, uh, a measuring cup that holds eight <laughs> cups. <laughs> How did you fit the watermelon in the jar? It's like, the I, whole the whole watermelon would have almost fit. Uh, I I used a separating tool. <laughs> well, it was already separated because I ate through it. Um, are you good on this one, Jordan? Yeah, I'm good. Just let me know when you're. All right, sorry, uh, Keith. I told my dad about uh, snack friends whenever I went down there. Uh, to see them last weekend, and he thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever heard of in his entire life. Oh, great. I'm glad. I'm glad. It was, I think it's uh, pretty funny. This is Orange. Keith, guess what? What? Today, while I was delivering uh, phone right. books, I took an apple with me as a snack. I totally ate, ate through the bottom of that core. Or not core, as the case may be. I'm a true snack friend. What? How, oh. how was it? How did you find it? It was it was good. I couldn't eat the top that was above the seeds because it looked kind of weird and gross. But check out this crazy oh, thing. Oh man, what's up, buddy? It's like a hey, turtle buddy. fish. What's up? It's got tusks. Yeah. It's gonna ram us probably. I think we've been seeing like a lot of statues of this thing. Oh, this is the thing from oh, the city the that, that heat that fish, eats yeah. people. Buddy, get us off this island. Help us. Fish for the fish god. I don't remember if that is significant or not. Maybe it's just a thing that happens when we sit in this chair for long enough. The animation still isn't over yet, though. So I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's... No. Okay, it's over. Okay. Wait, we, ha we haven't done this one yet. It's... That's... Hold on. When I, when I clicked on it, it just brought the fish god... And just, it's a fish god summoner button. Oh, it calls it? Yeah, I don't know if it, Oh, it's... Uh, hey! It's like, what the fuck? Up, I was dude? just here. That button is for emergencies only, man. Ugh, I don't know why I gave you that button. Weird. Okay, so which symbol was that? This one. Just gonna write on that like fish call. Fish call. I call okay. it. Oh, there's multiple weird eyes. I was gonna call it weird eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is the one with the vertical line. That's right. Okay. Oh, the lines aren't the lights aren't turning on anymore. I don't think, unless this one's just broken. Okay, I'll write down broken. Yeah, that one's broken. But okay, I think I think if I remember correctly, it's red because all the other ones have a color. Okay, and what color does this look like to you? That's blue. Okay, we're good. What a pointed question. What color does this look like to you? 
Well, it's it, it <laughs> on my on my side through the screen share. It is identical to the one that you said was green. But look, this one's green. Do you not see a difference uh, now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> Let's try calling the fish buddy one more time. He's responsive. <laughs> less and less each time. Yeah, this time it's just like, whatever, I don't hear you. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Is this a repeat? Mm hmm. Oh, oh. Oh, he's oh. pissed. Keep, well, keep pissing keep him off. He keeps on leaving, and you're calling him back right as he's out of... <laughs> well, just stay, like, like, then. Like, wait, no, one more thing. Never mind, sorry. No, no, one more. Wait. No. No. I don't think Nothing this time? No. He got fed up with our shit. But we now have a collection of symbols and colors at our disposal. Yep. Just, I don't know. Just checking. What else is in this place? I think that's, this is pretty much it. In like, this specific room or just in general here? In, in all of Riven. I, this, this is literally everything in the game. We're done now. Oh, okay. Wait, we're done with the game? Yeah, it's all yep, over. This is it. Fish God, that was the end. It was like, you got to see no, a fish. You're hey, lying to me. roll you're credits. Just you just saw up. you saw a big fish. Roll credits. You're, you're making that up. I don't make things up, Keith. I speak only truths. Oh, I think there is no. That's just yeah. So this is. No, wait, it's that, right. no, that path totally forks, right? No, but one of the forks is just back to where we came from. Because here's the weird elevator. Oh right. Or is this actually? This is a lot lower, so this must be a different, a different rail, right? Yeah. I think this is a different rail system. Keith. Yeah, what's up? Would you be be able to tell me what effect anything Kyle has done has had on anything else? Like, would you yes. be able to recapitulate it back to me? Yes. Oh, well, you're doing better than me, I guess. I also have the context of the entire first game. Mostly, mostly he's just doing stuff to let him open other doors. Yeah, I think... Well, yeah. This is basically a Silent Hill game. Yeah. It, like, to address the point of, like, are we making progress in the game or not? Like, I think the, the deal with Riven is, like, anytime you see a thing that you haven't seen before, progress has been made. Yeah. Like, that, that's basically the, the metric. Um. Go! Maybe the reason, Keith, that you, you find Riven to be, uh more tolerable is because all you know the kind of, all the puzzles are sort of environmental and contextual like you're making your way yeah. through a world and not just like a weird it wasn't like the it wasn't set up by the riddler just like some asshole that made a bunch of puzzles <laughs> yeah, to annoy yeah, you that's, i totally agree i think that you i think that you uh, hit the nail right on the head kyle with that this is the kind of puzzle i like Which I have no, I have no problem with uh, being the the plaything of a psychotic puzzle making madman. This elevator not as nice as the last one. No, no that rock texture looks really good. Let's hit this button. What's the button do? Nothing that I can tell. What about that handle here? Well, better lower these stairs, or I don't know what it's for. 
Oh man, it's the fish mouth. What? Yeah. Great. It's a, a Dark Souls shortcut ah. for us. Uh, can you press, can you make that go up more? Yeah. Oh, I guess that button is just for if you go through the mouth to, oh, it closes it, lame. Well, we can't have everybody knowing that there's a, an elevator in here. Well, how are we gonna get back in through the fish head? What? Oh. Ah. Don't. So we have not been up on this level yet. Hey, it's Spinny Dude. Yeah. More people in watchtowers that spin things. I mean, what else are you going to do in a watchtower? I don't know. What is this? I feel like I remember this being really important. Finally a toilet, thank God. <laughs> yeah, you were gonna get a virus point. Oh, maybe this is just a see things from above machine. This is nice. I would have shit myself right now, right now. Oh, right, okay. Oh, look at that weird metal sphincter. Gross. Open it again. That's a butt. <laughs> That's a big metal butt where you put your weird <laughs> elevator. I don't know if I ever learned this the first time I played it, but I was looking at the Starry Expanse uh, mm -hmm. website, and they described this as Gen's Gallows and said that it was the real version of the weird, like, number toy that was in the school with the people being lowered into the fish, so I think the idea is oh. the door gets opened and then they get fed to the fish god. Fish for the fish god. Man. That's brutal. Can we not rotate this at all? Oh, so Gin would sit up here in his fucking, like, or, kingly throne above his kingdom. No, I, I bet, I bet just a uh, some sort of technician would operate this and Gen would sit up close so he could watch them be munched to pieces for fun. No, the executioner was up here. Some sort of trained if I was a king and I enjoyed some sort of trained murdering. operator. <laughs> if I was a king <laughs> and enjoyed more murdering, go ahead. I would probably sit up there and watch people be eaten by a giant well, uh, menacing fish. I mean, you probably, you know, change it up a little bit each time. Sometimes you watch it from the ground. Sometimes you're up in the chair. Sometimes you're in you a shark same... cage. Yeah, sometimes you're down there with the fish. Like, you yeah, yeah. do the same thing every time. Sometimes because, you're you know, riding the fish, your loyal subject. Sometimes you're the guy that gets eaten, you know, but only a little bit. But Here we go. So I push it when it becomes golden? I think... Oh, okay, there's a different one each, so... There's a different gold one for each, uh, thing. And I got it. Right, so then... Why are you good at this, but not bonus try? <laughs> there's... There... <laughs> Yo, I think because bonus try is impossible. Yeah, that's, that's why. Okay, so this was like... This all goes together with a puzzle that without the the prior knowledge of this it was just utter madness to me just like mm -hmm. the symbols we found correspond to the colors and then each symbol now also corresponds to a dome and then later we're gonna have a puzzle where we have to locate all the domes on the island in a grid and then put colored like match the colors up with those things still don't know what to do with this though oh right this that's why we couldn't get into that age because of this fucking or maybe it, radio. maybe it wasn't an age because this also has a book in it, and I don't I definitely don't think there was like five age books linking books. What do I do with you? Anyway, what is there a symbol somewhere else on this thing that we can look at oh, oh, that would give shit. us a number? Um, what happens if you look through the telescope now that it's open? We need to figure out a way to 
write down that this this dome corresponds with a certain color. Okay, which color is it? Um, well, the symbol was like it looked like an eye, but the pupil was a vertical line. Okay, that's the one that doesn't have a light. Okay, that's so that's that's red, I believe. Okay. R- write down red with a question mark, please. Question mark? Take this down, yes. Maybe they want a more specific color, like a, like rust. Chartreuse. Crimson. John. What up? Hey, buddy. How's your guitar? That's not my guitar. Keith, how's your guitar? Oh, you guys can hear that? Someone's got a guitar in this motherfucker, and I'm gonna find out who it is and put them on my weird metal sphincter and feed them to my fish god. Oh god! Oh oh my god. Oh Oh, sorry, that that child wasn't supposed to be haunting. It was just supposed to be a little kid. Riven, I think you went for the wrong thing. Was it not supposed to be haunting? Like, because it for sure was haunting. No, I don't think it was supposed to be haunting. Maybe they shouldn't have made her black and white. (laughs) Listen, when you need to put this many QuickTime MOVs on a on a but two CDs, two compact discs, you have to make concessions, Jordan. Dude, whenever I bought Riven, it was like five discs. Are you sure? Five? Yeah. Yeah, I think five sounds about right to me. Those those fucking weirdo penguin dinosaurs love hanging out in that same dumb rock. (laughs) <laughs> and they love running away from you in the same way into a path in a down a path that does not make any sense. Maybe they're trying to sunbathe and we're like really invading their privacy by being there. Keith, Keith what kind of guitar do you have? Um, that I one. have because you have a lot. Yeah, the uh, the guitar that is closest to me currently is a Seagull guitar, Se- Seagull parlor guitar. Um, parlor guitars, uh, for those who don't know, are guitars that are three quarters the size of a regular guitar, and I like them because uh, they're they're really fun. They sound cool, and they look cool. What kind of guitar do you have, Jordan? Uh, my acoustic is a. Uh Ibanez PF5, uh, which they don't make anymore, um, which is a bummer because she's in kind of rough shape and and needs to be fixed up a little so bit. So you have a lady uh, yeah. guitar. Yeah, I do. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. I uh, my, good, my good is a, because is a Paul Reed Smith Tremonti SE named Cecilia. I appreciate that because if it was a man, I would find that a little bit gay and would be my, put by it. My well, here's the thing. Thank, that, thank God well, we don't I, have. I thought it was a non-gendered guitar, but then. I, I started playing it and then I found that the uh, it was coming it's sounding a little bit hollow and I looked inside the uh, yeah. uh, inside the body and there was just a big dick in there. Yeah, well, so, my my I guitar a, was I, was I, I named him Jim. My guitar was born a man, but it prefers to be referred to as a woman, and I love her for who she is. Yeah, great. My acoustic is a Larabe L03. Not that anyone asked me, but you know that's what well, John, it is. Forgetting to you, it's a what? <laughs> I have a Larabe L03. I don't know if I've ever heard of Larave. They are Canadian um, guitar maker. They have guitars in Canada? Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. I have a GNL ASAT. It's like a Les Paul. No, not a Les Paul. It's like a Tele Les Paul hybrid kind of. Cool. And I have a Fender Jazzmaster, which is sick. Oh, man. Nice. Jazzmasters are really cool. They are uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Bio says, how many of your guitars are gently weeping? The one that I can't find since I moved. Oh, that's that sad. One's weeping. Yeah, I had a... What was it? A, it, was, um, it, was a, it was a cheap Ibanez. I assume it was cheap. Uh, I did not buy it because I got it when I was like 12 or 15. It's, it's an Ibanez, a red Ibanez acoustic with like sort of an SG-shaped body. You've oh, had this those. guitar for yeah. 10 years. You don't need that guitar anymore. I, I am firmly of the opinion that you can only get so many songs out of a guitar. That there is a finite number of songs that a guitar can give you before you have to move on. Then, to yeah, you need to help it find a new home or shoot it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like just an excuse for laziness. I don't know. I t- <laughs> bring it to the vet I, for a fatal issue that it has. 
actually just I was I was working on my I have a I have a Les Paul that I was like operating on because it lot all the tuning pegs broke like they just snapped so I had to oh, replace man. the tuning pegs and the I accidentally got super cheap tuning peg replacements and they were really shitty Fuck. and like the screws were breaking as I was screwing them into the neck uh, and not the neck the uh, the uh, wherever the fuck headstock the headstock yeah mm-hmm. uh, and like I had to I found a clamp and I had to screw the clamp into the thing to keep them from falling out it's a whole mess so I'm gonna use it until I just get new I have to get all new tuning pegs again wow Keith your life sucks <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty, no, it just happened. It was re- immediately before I started streaming, so I was. Oh, that's frustrating. It was, re- it was relevant. Uh, Vorpal Film says Jordan Mallory's opinions on guitars are bullshit, and D says y'all are being super weird about guitars. <laughs> is that what? Is this what everyone who owns a guitar is like? Yeah. Uh, and then Vorpal Film says D I'm not like that. They're full of shit. So. Uh, well, I was just joking. I don't. I just my guitar is just a, a wooden thing. Um, that's that's so heartless. None of my guitars yeah. have names because I have no soul. Yeah. None of my guitars have names because I didn't even know that was a thing anyone did. BB King, you know, Lucille, you know. I guess. I guess Famously. I didn't know. Did you, did you name your car? No. Okay, this is going to be an important symbol, maybe. Did you name me your dick? Down? Man, I oh, okay. Hey, there's a thing to pull on. Oh, yeah, good. I actually named my dick my car. <laughs> What's up, my car? My car, Carberry. Oh, weird. Okay, so those. Someone be Can you grab that by their piece? wrist? Maybe. I, I must be able to. We well, this is fun. I'm glad that instead of trying to find Catherine, we're just fucking around on swings. I wonder if that woman that was running away was Catherine. Maybe. Oh, hey, guy. <laughs> this must be Wait, the guy. Is from this the, the guy? No, the guy from the beginning d- fucking died. I don't know. He died. You don't know that. Across it could have been a, a tranquilizer dart. No, the dart. No, that that dude fucking died. Cause like, if you go over, if you go over the cliff, whenever at the very beginning, if right. you go over to that cliff, you can look and find his dead body just laying there. Unless I'm totally wrong, and that was a different. Oh dead man, dead. is this gonna set this guy free? That would be hilarious. Be free, person. I don't know who very well could have committed a, a serious crime. And nah, he's still asleep. They didn't even have an FMV of him, like, escaping? He's, oh, okay. He didn't need my saving. I don't well, think we can... That looks really small. Good thing that's there. No, I'm... Oh, wait, hold on. Go back in there. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'll go back in there. Ooh. Yeah, fucking shortcutting all over the place. Now, this is literally a Dark Souls shortcut. Yeah, I know. There's a shortcut that is exactly that. A few. What actually. is it? Wait, are you, is it the same type of entrance? Is that what makes it a Dark Souls shortcut? No, it's yeah, it's. Well, I, I just mean you know it's, it's, progressing to a new area and then unlocking a shortcut back to where we've been before, as as to allow easier access to the thing we just discovered. But in the one future. of the first shortcuts that you unlock in Dark Souls is in Undeadburg, and uh, you lower a ladder down from a place that's above where you started. Can I say that I think that name is super funny? <laughs> undead Berg? I still yeah. think it's so funny. It's not it's, it's funny. not undead Berg. It is an undead it's a Berg of undead people. Yeah, Un- but it's still called Undead Berg. No, I, I it's funny. Keith, did it's you turn super- your mic up or something? You're you're clipping now. You no, I turned my mic down. Oh. Oh weird. How's it's, that? Is that what better? What the fuck is this garbage? There's nothing that's way better. Oh, okay. There's nothing here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There, there's nothing doing oh. there? Okay. I see. 
I mean, is it Undeadberg or is it Undeadberg? Undeadberg. Undeadberg. <laughs> Obviously, Deadberg or Undeadberg. Um, so I guess this applies to Kyle and to John. Um, neither of none of us have particularly strong uh, Massachusetts or Boston accents. Okay. Um, do you guys ever say a word in a Boston accent that you never would ever pronounce like that ever, and it slips out and it's crazy? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Because mm. last night. Last night I was talking about mustard and I called it uh, mustard. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> I almost died that I called it mustard and it like killed me. So what are the? Can we look at these runes? So on this? I I don't. I, basically, if I remember correctly, this room is just uh, the key to what is like the final puzzle in the game and it's absolutely insane um, and I don't know if much can be done here right now there's like uh, a, I Cameron push says, you I hear a slight New England accent in Keith especially when he says the word both I don't know what both 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 how else do you say that both some people say both both is wrong because there's no L in it yeah like if bowl was a number like if if the number bull came after yeah, that's the five bowl. and you had like the fifth one and then the both one <laughs> yeah that's not how you say that word <laughs> so wait did you lower that with a button on the wall or did you lower it by clicking on just it just clicking on it, it it's not it's something like you have to some hot is this going to be like a wicked advanced version of the i guess wait maybe it's not like the last puzzle in the game maybe we have to go do this it's it's some hot garbage it, you you go around the island and you I mean now that I know the puzzle I'm sure we'll not have that much trouble with it but you go around the island and you find those weird eyeball ball things with the numbers on them mm -hmm. and uh, in those locations like parts of the environment will be shaped like an animal and then you go and you find all the animal symbols and you push wait the what right really buttons. yeah Kramer was saying that I do say both which I think is I think he's wrong so I'm gonna keep an eye out, an ear out. I'm gonna listen in on for that. Keith, for maybe both. maybe you you say both pronunciations. Yeah, maybe I flip flop. Maybe it's like a syrup and syrup where where uh, I never know how I say it because I always say it both ways. Maple uh, syrup. Syrup. So. Syrup. syrup. Stop syrup. it, guys! You syrup. you I sound like syrup. assholes right now. Wait, it's what, maple what are you syrup. what are you even saying right now? You sound Wait, like the... shitheads that don't know how to talk. <laughs> it's syrup. What is the word? Maple syrup. syrup. Maple syrup. syrup. I say I say I say both syrup and syrup. Okay, interesting. Syrup. I feel like so I said neither. Let's go. Maple let's go syrup. to that sandbox and see what the eyeball there is, yeah. just to Got... get a feel for it. <clears throat> Guys, do any of you say caramel? Uh, I, don't I, know. I only say caramel when I'm talking about caramel apples. Otherwise, I say caramel. Mm. I think you know what I think I have been known to say caramel apple occasionally. I think I said caramel when I was a kid. I don't know what happened. You grew up, John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You learned how to not sound like an asshole. I mean, there was once I think like a Milky Way commercial where uh, Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal chastised a child for using the pronunciation caramel, and if if Shaquille O'Neal can speak down to someone else about the way they talk when they say caramel, certainly nobody should be saying it. Carmela. I kind of want to troll at Dark Souls for him now and go like, hey, can someone give me a list of all the Riven shortcuts in this game? Is John? Have do you play Dark Souls? Are you are you th that too? Um, I, I have a, a Dark Souls file. I, I I'm in uh, where am I? Undead Berg? <laughs> no, I'm in uh, Blight Town. I guess I don't know. Blighttown. I come back to oh, it. I, I, I play Dark Souls for like a few hours every couple months. What were we calling these things? What were Lapras? We... Some like something dinosaurs. Mm. Like penguin dinosaurs? <laughs> penguin dinosaurs. I think these are the ones for... They're used to us now, though. Just straight don't give a shit. Wait, what? Where does this go? I'm confused. Okay. 
Fair enough. So yeah, so you go down here and there's this ball with the number two. Okay. Write down two for this one, please, Jordan. Notate okay. this. This is the number two, and when you turn this, the water fills it up into like the shape of a some kind of beetle. Uh, Lucas says if you call a carbonated beverage pop, I might block you. Yeah. Uh, none of us do that. Uh, I have relatives that call it pop. I also have relatives that call it tonic. Tonic, and that yeah. Crazy. A lot of okay. So a, a lot of grandmas in New England call soda tonic because <laughs> that was my a dad drink. calls it tonic. It drives me nuts. Well, you're, should I mark down the beetle? This looks like a jellyfish. You should. Should I no, mark down? Don't don't write a word. You should try to sketch this. I'm not going to do that. You, yes, uh, you need to do this. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll just take a picture with my phone if you want to be an asshole about it. All right. What I was going to ask is if I can just write the word beetle down to where I already drew the symbol for the number two, or if they need to be separate notations. Uh, I think it should be separate. <laughs> okay. Keith, you're a Guided by Voices fan, yeah? Oh, yeah, man, they're great. What's up? Um, then you'll enjoy this. I was talking about Iggy Azalea with someone, okay. and I was like, oh, do you think Iggy Azalea is racist? And he was like, no, not really, because like, she just kind of raps in the style of the stuff she grew up listening to. Like, You wouldn't go up to Bob Pollard and say, oh, you're racist because you sing in an English accent and you're from America. Mm-hmm. I just thought you would enjoy that comparison. Is there somebody who sings it's with a, a British point. accent, even though they're Is from it? America? Yeah, Robert Pollard has a little bit of a a little bit of a thing. Uh, <laughs> even more than that, though, um, I don't know if you ever listened to the Brian Jonestown Massacre, but yes, yeah, yeah, great. Anton Newcomb, you, you'd think he was English because he sings with such a strong English accent, but he's from yeah, that's five. Yeah, this San Francisco. Is, this is five. Yeah. Uh, take it from the man is a super good album. I love that album. It's yeah, the best album. and uh, that's, I think that's like the only BJ on album that I can listen all the way through. I think. Okay, what is this? I the think, shape of? I think the rock formation is the animal, or or it's either the rock formation is the animal, or the animal is the weird penguin dinosaurs that were hanging out on the rock. But I think that's like a red herring. Okay, I think that's a red herring. What does this look like? It looks like a whale to me. Whale thing. Oh, wait, no, this is, like, the... Well, it looks like it has horns, like that fish god. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, though. I took, right. I took a picture of it, though, so... How do I get back? <laughs> and, uh, this is one... That's the number three. All right. Like, just the the logical leap you have to make to try to figure out that, like, these eyeballs, like, correspond to environmental features that take the shape of Look animals, like animals is just insane. Nothing here looks like an animal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I just remember correctly, this one's a frog. I just don't remember how to make it look like that. Is it? Oh, this okay. is the this this is the shape of a frog. This like sort of rock, like the oh, entrance kind of looks like a frog. I think. Yeah. What the hell is Yuns? In chat, they're saying as an alternative to saying you or you all or y'all or you guys. People say you, yins or you, yuns. You yuns. ones. Yins and yuns is you ones. I've never heard that. It's like a, I think it's like a Pennsylvania thing. Or that, that region. Is it a Castlevania thing? <laughs> yeah, it's Transylvania a thing, actually. Yeah, yeah. Transylvania. Um... Trying to remember where else we've seen these things. I'm not sure. I know there's one in Gen's office. And there's probably only five. So we already have three, right? Uh, yeah, we do have three. Three so far. The fourth one's in Gen's office. And the fifth one... Where was we, the we fifth We might one? not have found, one, found it yet. It wasn't one of the starting alien, was there? I don't think so. Stupid. What is this switch? Hey, it's the blue switch. You should press it. I did, I did press hey, it. Hey, what's up? 
Alien Lanes or B thousand? B thousand. You said that with such surety. And I know because I'm sure about it. What do you? Uh, <laughs> Uh, unless you want, unless you want to talk to me about Game of Pricks, which is a really good song, and it's on Alien Lanes, but it is a really great song. Yeah. Other, otherwise, I am uh, wholly in B thousand is better than Alien Lanes camp. I have no idea what y'all are talking about. B thousand and Alien Lanes are two songs by one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, got it by albums. Voices. What did I say? You said songs. Well, albums. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, when that whole thing with Destiny. Uh, became super popular where people were talking about and still are saying uh, Wizard on the Moon. The only thing that I can think of in my head is the dude on the cover of B Thousand. Is he a wizard on a moon? Uh, Did no, you? but he looks like someone that might be a wizard on you a guys moon. Know the, okay. You guys know the You guys know the Destiny beta is starting in a week? Mm-hmm. What? And you That's can soon. you can just get in by like pre ordering it at GameStop. Oh wow. So I mean you should never pre order games, but when pre-ordering that game gets you into the beta for a game that you want to play really badly, it's fine. I think the last time I did that was uh, I pre-ordered Blur. We, but I think between me and Keith or Andy, we pre-ordered Blur like four times to get four beta keys. <laughs> and then we gave one away on our podcast. Or we tried to, but we were so... Uh, unpopular at the time, we didn't even get any responses, so I just gave it to like <laughs> Keith's friend Zach or something. Like because Zach, Zach. like Zach, Zach, me- it, Zach, like Zach mentioned that he had listened to the podcast, and I was like, "Fuck it, you qualify as a listener. You want the this blur beta key?" Um, yeah, he had he had listened. Yeah. Man, blur's good. Yeah. Rip and Peace Blur. Or Rip and Peace Bizarre Creations. It's weird to feel like I kind of know my way around Riven now. Like, that's a, that's an odd feeling. How do I get to the point... <sighs> go in the go in the tube. I know, Well, no, I don't have to go through there, but I'm just getting annoyed because there's this dome right here, and I know through this hole in the wall is the, the viewfinder. I just don't know how to get back there. It's frustrating me. What color is this one? Can we tell from here? Uh, it's got like a vertical eye shape with a dot in the middle, I think. And it's yellow. Vertical eye with a dot in the middle is blue. Okay. There was, there was one that was definitely yellow. Yes. Yeah. Wh- that one is a horizontal eye with a dot in the middle. Oh, uh, okay. Well, the the it was yellow on the spinning dome, but the the symbol that it was corresponded to a color in a different way. Try to keep up, Keith. Jeez. Uh, uh, okay. Here we go. Which one is this? So this one's over here. That's the number so one. But yeah, I I feel like it's. Like, there isn't actually the animal shape in here. I think we have to figure out, like, where this thing was, like, previously before Gen took it to figure out. I guess it'll okay. just tell us. Monitoring the situation of the villagers. From the scope in my survey room, I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, I was surprised to see another floating there. The missing object had apparently and quite mysteriously been replaced with a new one overnight. I've long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on the village's islands or the villagers island, Mm -hmm. but have paid them little notice until now. Tomorrow I shall send surveyors to catalog the others. So he got this from out in a bay somewhere. Yeah. Well, it sounds it sounds like it was replaced, so maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's out there. The one in a bay already was the whale thing. That was kind of in a bay, right? Yeah, but it wasn't out floating in the water. That's right. 
So where's a bay that we haven't really looked around yet? Uh, when I went through that cave to get... Like, when I went through the prison cell into the cave, I think I... I was looking out at a bay, I guess. There's, like, tons of bays in this this pl this GD place. Yeah, it's almost There's nothing like this but bay. It's like a bay state. I don't even... It's almost like this game is set on a series of islands. And we're completely surrounded by water at all times. Hmm. 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 So it sounds like all the all the eyeball things are all they're all on that one island. All oh, they're all on the villagers island. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Have we gotten into that control room in the middle yet? We haven't done that yet, right? This thing? Yeah. No. I don't think we've managed to actually But there is been this. Yet. What is this? Oh, this is just showing how the the this dome central place connects to all the different islands i guess i guess that makes sense yeah because so uh those are well those look like pipes running out to all the different islands or oh. they might be the bridges though and then the gold ring is the walkway in here maybe it's power There's this thing. We haven't fucked around with this thing recently. That's right. I don't... I can't, for the life of me, remember if there's anything more to do with this thing. I don't think so, but... I think this is just his, like, broadcast booth. Yeah. Super ominous music, you guys. Something's about to happen. Yeah. That's the same music every time. Oh, wait. Is there a eyeball in here? Well, I guess it's not the right island, so maybe not. There's these things, but I don't think that means anything. Maybe I was wrong about, like, the fact that Gin created this world from scratch, because it seems like he would know about what the eyeball things were if he made them. Well, I think... Or, like, if he made everything. Well, I, he made the people, but then I think the people can make their own shit. Like, I don't, it's not like he controls them. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Yeah, I seriously doubt there's anything else of yeah, interest over here. here. Let's find another bay on this island. Hmm. Who's got a fan going? I do. You are a monster. I have a ceiling fan, but I think it's super quiet. So. I can't hear it, and it's, like, right above me. Is this a bay, though? I mean, it certainly could be called that, right? Oh, so that's the key. Out there in the middle is the camera thing that I was controlling before. Oh, okay. 
Are there any of these little like negative space bubbles that we haven't stopped at yet? Maybe it's you get to it through one of them. No, I really doubt that. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've stopped at all of them. Um, people in the chat talking about guitar string action. I have a pretty regular action on my guitar, and I tune down and normally don't get any buzzing. Uh, so maybe there's something wrong with your guitar. It also depends on the gauge of the string that you're using. If you use a heavier gauge uh, string, you're more likely to get buzzing at lower tunings. Yeah, I use a, I use a medium gauge acoustic string. Um, sometimes I will use... Uh, light gauge on the top three strings and medium gauge on the bottom three. Mm -hmm. That's fun. That's a fun little thing you can do. Oh God, you guys are such you take nerds. <laughs> I uh, I go. I can't believe you. I go light gauge on my electric so that I can do fun bends and stuff. But I go yeah, super yeah. heavy gauge <laughs> on acoustic. To no, you're right. Yeah, I think uh, actually right now I have acoustic strings on my electric uh, because. Weird. Uh, just because I didn't have any electric strings available, and I had to restring my guitar. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, yeah, I use I use light or very light. On your electric? On my electric, yeah. Oh, that's that's so painful to hear the words "very light" and "electric." Why? What's wrong with you? I can't do uh, strings and electric. Uh, uh -huh. Got to be, got to go heavy. Got to go twelve. Heavy strings above. on electric. Gotta go twelves, man. What do you okay, do? You so, that's hold on, that's I, not a string. That's a stick. Okay, so that's four. Hold on, guys. I think these sounds are important. <laughs> uh, ugh. This is totally going to be important for something, and I don't want it to be because that's obnoxious. <laughs> All right. Let me see if let's find what an animal sound like? here. Uh, this, this is not an animal, right? No, it's not. Can you look up from there? No. Or maybe if I stand here and then... Oh, wait. wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I turn around? No. Maybe this makes the sound of the animal that it is. Oh... That's possible. But then where have we heard that sound? Uh, Hazebox says it's those seals. Uh, it's the noise they make. Oh, you mean the penguin dinosaurs? Okay. Yeah, the penguin dinosaurs. Penguin. I was going to say maybe maybe we have to stand on like the second floor walkway and look down on it to see the animal shape, but... I want to remake these games with a uh, every action you do be narrated by an om omniscient narrator. Oh god, that would be so obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this looks out. That's Did, a bay. I, that's I don't think that's a bay. I would do it in my wizard voice, and then he looked out towards the bay. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't play this game. Oh. I'm getting a phone I call. Would, I'll be be back I would in a play it way more. I'll be back in a, a hot call? minute. Okay. Wait, okay. you're getting a phone call? He's getting a phone call. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? What are you? What's, what's up? Uh, um, Johnny uh, Crater I, I, in the chat said, "Here's the best music video I've ever seen, and I'm not going to click on it, and I'm just going to hope for your sake that it is uh, Take on Me' by Aha." <laughs> Jordan, where do you work? What does uh, your life work? I, I work at, I'm lead writer at Mini Core Studios. We're an indie game development house in Austin. And uh, uh, before that, I was a, a, uh, an editor at Joystick. I'm back. You should tell, you should, hey, hey Kyle. Hey. Welcome back. Do you, do you uh, see this frog? It looks way more like a frog now. I didn't see the frog. Check uh, out the screen. Jordan, you should tell, you should tell oh, people dude. what the thing. Yeah, it super looks like a frog entirely. What, what um, I'm almost part? surprised that like. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, yes, yep. I'm almost surprised that we eyes, didn't just notice eye. that like normally. That's super cool. It kind of has a duck bill though. Sort yeah, of no, a it's duck it's, bill it's taking a selfie. It's, oh okay, yeah, I get it. I see it. Yeah. Um, anyway, if, sorry. If, go. If, if you want to help us out, we're, we are in the middle of a very, or at hopefully the end of a very long Steam Greenlight campaign. 
Uh, okay. Our our game, The Sun at Night, came out in February, and we've been on green light for over a year at this point. So if you want to vote for us, uh, you could um, go to greenlightthunderdome.com, and that will direct you to our 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 green light page. Today was rough because we typically Valve will push through seventy five new titles from green light every two weeks. And today was the two week mark, and we've been in the top sixty games on Greenlight for the last two weeks. So we were like, everybody was on the edge of their seat at work today, all just yeah, waiting. Yeah. So if they if they're pushing, do they not? Do they end up not pushing things through this week? They they just didn't announce any today, right? And so it, they have before announced Greenlight games on um, Tuesday and on Thursday, but it's been rare. So they might do it tomorrow, but if they don't do it tomorrow that's like 90% that they're not going to do it until next week. And if they don't do it until next week, that's really bad for us because like uh, a lot of our um, improvement on green light over the last couple of weeks came from the fact that we were part of a bundle Mm -hmm. and the bundle ends tomorrow. And so, so if, if valve waits until next week by next week, we might not be in the top 75 anymore. Right. Uh, and I, I'm going to break the world in half with my bare hands <laughs> if they do that. I just voted for y'all, so... Thank you, John. There you go. Did yeah, you just John, say y'all, John? Yeah, well, that's where are you from? time in the South, so... Did you? Uh-huh. How much and where and why? <laughs> um, <laughs> Savannah, Georgia, on two separate occasions. Georgia? Georgia, yeah. And I had a bunch of friends. Uh, once was to visit a friend, and once was to visit another friend. Okay. Where are you getting all these friends? Yeah, what the fuck? You're <laughs> I not thought I was your only <laughs> friend. <laughs> You're very interesting. Um, I mean, John's also got Andy. Does Andy count? No. John, are you still friends with Andy? I haven't hung out with Andy for years. Andy transferred to my school, and I didn't hang out with him then. <laughs> but, well, I mean... I also haven't hung out with Andy for years. Right, which isn't to say that we're not friends. We are. I just haven't hung out with he's, him. He's didn't, just a bad friend. When Andy transferred to your school, didn't he like try to convince you to like let him live with you or something? Um, I don't think so. No. no? Okay. Not he'd probably be a super good roommate though, because he'd just be he'd either be out doing all the fucking shit that he's always busy with or sleeping. <laughs> yeah, an, uh, but would he really yeah how anything? can someone be so lazy and sedentary and so busy at the same time i don't know he's, such he's a the conundrum. laziest motherfucker i've ever met and he's on a tri-state bike ride right now like what is he like how <laughs> are there two andys Does he have like the, the who the is Hermione andy Manger, short uh, necklace what is that called what's that thing called what someone help me the hermione granger necklace the She's time got. turner time turner there we go I was going to say Timmy Turner. That, that was wrong. That's not uh, it. It's Tina That's Turner, it. actually. Yeah, oh, sorry. Guys, I actually bought a tiny screwdriver from a, a store, and it's one of those like interchangeable ones with all the different bits, so you get like a, lots of different screwdriver heads in one. That's really, there's some mm-hmm. really funny bits and, in that screwdriver. And, uh, well, the, the screwdriver's funniest bit is the fact that its brand name is the Teeny Turner. <laughs> That's funny. Oh wait, is it the does it have like a a clear uh top and a red bottom? No. No, okay, cuz I have I have something that sounds exactly like what you're describing okay. and might might have even been called the Teeny Turner. <laughs> okay. Nicole's home so we're going to go say hi to her and everything. Okay. Um yeah. Um it was frustrating. So yeah, so so traffic in Austin is as bad as ever, but the drivers are getting worse and it's frustrating. I think we have like the fourth Depending on the list that you're looking at, we have the third or fourth worst traffic in the nation. Oh, wow. That's pretty bad. Yeah. It's like... I wonder where we are in that list. It's like New York, San Francisco, Honolulu, and then us. Um, and Honolulu is back because it's an island that nobody can yeah. get out. Hey, Kyle, wait, what's wait, up? wait. Los Angeles doesn't make it in the top five worst traffic, according to you? Because from everything I've heard, it's apocalyptic. They yeah they talk about it like it's the worst thing in the entire world. So if they're not on that list, then they can all shut the fuck up forever. Here is a Forbes article. I for you mentioned well, uh, roundabout. That's Forbes. I've decided to never trust Forbes about anything ever. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Mostly because their their video game coverage is abysmal. Their video game coverage is butts. 
Yeah. <laughs> it might be the worst. It might be the worst sort of a. Uh, it might be the worst high profile video game coverage on the internet. <sighs> Okay, here's the fiscal times 10 U.S. cities with the worst traffic. All right. Um, yeah, Los Angeles is number one. Yeah, Los Angeles is number one on Forbes, too. Weather.com puts... Uh, let's see. Yeah, these lists are all over the place. Uh, I know this might seem cruel and unusual... Um, but would it be okay if we talked about Riven right now? Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, all, so all three lists that I saw had, had uh, Los Angeles at one. So I take it back. What's up? I was wrong. Riven? Um, I'm thinking about these number balls. Uh, and We've got all but one of them. So there, there's one that's a one and one that's a five, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and like if it's loose... Five is the whale thing. Yeah, it, but... <laughs> Oh, this is four. Okay, that's. I thought this one was one, and I thought the five was the whale thing, because the one in Gen's office was either a one or a five. So I thought maybe like that oh, one didn't I see what count, you're but apparently I'm wrong. Um, since we have all but one of them, couldn't we try like process of elimination, whatever the last one is? No. Like set down the ones that we know, and then just do all the other ones. No. That wouldn't work. There's so many. Okay. Can we talk about traffic circles for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So you stay on the inside. Do you, all three of us call them different things? Because that's not. <laughs> I, I no. I, I I call them different things every single time I talk about them. Because okay. there's no good name for it, so I just like keep instinctually trying to switch. To, like maybe this one's better. I think that rotary is the best name. Traffic circle is the middle name, and then roundabout is the worst. Rotary. Roundabout's is, the best one. Roundabout is... Uh, <coughs> Sorry. I feel like my brain doesn't even remember my opinion about Roundabout. Like, I, f- I feel like sometimes I hate it, and then sometimes I'm like, oh, Roundabout's the one I think is the best, right? And then my brain has to tell Round- myself no. Roundabout just sounds like a children's thing. Yeah, it sounds silly. Well, it's British. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You know what I'm going to say? That's why it's silly. Telly. Oh, sweet British. yes song. Very silly people. Oh, John's still here. <laughs> Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a good yes song. Again, British. Yeah. Okay. Yes, not that great a band, though. That's untrue. Yeah, I, I, was, have I think those yes were fighting album. words to John. Mm-hmm. Do you like yes or rush more, John? Yes, mm-hmm. easily. <clears throat> mm. Uh, but John, I like Dream Theater a lot. Rush uh, wrote uh, and performed YYZ. What's your uh, your rebuttal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, YYZ is definitely a better song than Roundabout. Oh, what? So no. Rush did YYZ and, and not Yes. Yes didn't do that song. How do you respond oh, to this? I know the rebuttal. It's not a Yes related rebuttal, but Rush also did Spirit of the Radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking terrible song. Um. Uh, yes. So wait, we can we can tell we can tell from the start. orientation of the mm-hmm. eye on this one that, that, that that's a one. That's, right? that's a one. Yeah. Okay. I think we can all agree that the best album is Carn Evil by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Uh, you mean Brain Salad Surgery? No. Carn Evil is not an album, though. Is it? Not, is it not an album? No, it's a song, bro. By Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Carn Evil Nine. Okay, hold on. Is it a Kyle, super did you, Kyle, long did you just song? have an epiphany? Yeah. It is super long. It's like a half hour long. That's Talk me through what you're doing. So he, in his, in his journal, Gen says that he notices the, the floating ball in the bay mm-hmm. through his like little camera spyglass thing. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking if we go back to that camera and look at it, maybe one of the, one of the angles looks like an animal. Oh, that's smart. I'm pretty smart. So, How do we get back there? <clears throat> I got it. John, here's the thing about Carnival: <laughs> is that I have Carnival on my uh, iPod listed as its own thing. So I always just assumed that it's it was its own thing. 
I do love some Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, though. Yeah. Guy, what's your opinion on Emerson, Lake, and Palmer? They're um, also better than Rush. I... I agree. Yeah, better than Rush. Don't, don't get me wrong. Rush Rush can be great. I do love Rush, but... I All I know about Emerson, Lake, and Palmer is that I listened to an episode of Retronauts where they talked about progressive, uh, progressive rock, and they said that the composer of Final Fantasy VI said that... Uh, that they were one of his uh, major influences, and the person on the podcast <laughs> noted that it was like one of the, like one of or the only time he had heard someone speak positively about Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and also that he thought it was that influence was noticeable in Dancing Mad, which is a uh, terrific dancing, very, very obvious homage to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm. Su- I call them a lot. I actually call them Emmy, Lake, yeah. and P because I because I'm so <laughs> familiar with them. <laughs> We got to get back in and turn the thing around. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it, not just not just Final Fantasy VI, but lots of boss themes kind of sprinkled throughout. And that's six, seven, eight. That's Uematsu, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, As if I recall correctly, the um, the FF8 boss theme is also very ELP. Electric light porkestra. <laughs> porkestra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> Extremely porkable. Sorry if I'm like whispering. My roommate is probably trying to sleep. I bet your roommate's an idiot. My, mm. my girlfriend is trying thing. to sleep. Oh, people wrong in your human interaction. Right. Also, speaking of the crossover with Final Fantasy music with... um. Popular music, I guess. Are, are you all familiar with Lil B, the rapper? Bass I'm God, familiar Lil with Lil B's Twitter account. <laughs> Anyways, he has a song called I Love You, which has a pretty great music video, but it samples the Besaid Island theme from Final Fantasy X. Nice. Oh, here we go. It's a little fish. A fish. It's a little fishy. It's totally a fish. So number one, a fishy. Um... So I remember this from years ago when I was when I was reading about Emerson Lake of Almer, uh, when I was you know when I first discovered that I was probably like fourteen. Um, these are this is this is the criticism page on Wikipedia for Emerson Lake of Palmer. <laughs> ELP were heavily criticized by some music critics. Uh, one uh, one citing a joke: How do you spell pretentious? ELP. Robert Criscow said of the band. Uh, a set of the band, these guys are are as stupid as their most pretentious fans. Chris Gow called ELP the world's most overweening progressive group. John Kelman of All About Jazz noted that an overbearing self of sense of self-importance turned ELP from one of the 70s most exciting new groups into the definition of masturbatory excess and <laughs> self-aggrandizement in only a short few years. Ouch. Wow. Yeah. Um, I can agree. I probably agree with most of that. Uh, sure. And as a as a separate note of interest, this uh, the podcast that I mentioned uh, before, uh, he mm-hmm. also uh, he also brought up Dream Theater as a note of like the, I guess like the worst one of the worst examples of progressive rock that he could come <laughs> up with or something like that. Probably true. There's I I like Awake. I think that's a good album. Um. <laughs> That was pretty late in their career, though. As, as someone who was probably, I knew no great. Uh, John John was a an enormous fan of Dream Theater in middle school and high school. I think maybe more I middle school probably. Mostly middle school, kind of waned off. And uh, at the beginning of high school, mm, but he dragged me down with him. And I most yeah, days, I remember your Dream Theater theater shirt phase. <laughs> I still wear I still wear that shirt sometimes because it's a cool shirt. Most bands I, I continue to like to this day, but Dream Theater are not really one of them actually. And I haven't. I, uh, I don't know when the last my, time my, I listened to Dream Theater was, but I'm sure I could still enjoy it. I mean, yeah, I can still enjoy it from time to time, but it's not like I say I tell people that I like Dream Theater. Yeah. <laughs> my '80s rock phase was mostly hair metal. There was some prog rock in there, but but. Most of it was uh, White Snake and Bon Jovi and and uh, and and others of that sort. Well, Jordan, it's only natural that you ride you ride on a steel horse. Why wouldn't you listen to Bon Jovi? 
Well, yeah, I do. Yeah. You know, and and uh, having rocked a million faces, I can really uh, identify <laughs> with a lot of the stuff that he talks about in his songs. Uh. All right, so we got all of them now, right? I believe so. Ladies and right. gentlemen, could I? We got them. I, I feel the need to to emphasize this. We are straight Merkin Riven in this level. Yeah, are we doing good? Yeah. Now on howlongtobe.com it says the average Riven playthrough takes about 12 hours. That's and we are nowhere near that. Not so, even close. Especially not uh, when you cut out that hour that I was gone. <laughs> Is uh, part three of Mist gonna go up on YouTube? No, no, just uh, no. Didn't feel like it. Yeah, that just, makes sense. Just feel like we really hit our stride around one and two, and I just didn't wanna. I didn't wanna con well, I mean, to that's bump people out by Seinfeld. finishing the series. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's gonna go up. That that episode had a lot more editing required uh, than the previous ones. Because cause me and Keith had our, our a mini podcast about David Lynch in the well, middle of it. For yeah. Like an hour. <laughs> the way I... You should, you should at least put release that as a bonus app. Yeah, the way, it's gonna, the, uh... the way it's gonna work is that we get to... That happens at the end of episode three, and I put up a warning that the rest of the episode is just you guys talking, and it just goes with you guys talking until you stop talking about Mist, and then the rest of the conversation is a bonus episode. Now, not to make you repeat everything you said in that bonus part, but what were the salient points about David Lynch? Uh, the salient points were that uh, Jordan is off put by David Lynch and doesn't want to watch Twin Peaks because he thinks that David Lynch is a pretentious weirdo, oh. um, <laughs> and he really doesn't like uh, David over analy over analytical uh, David Lynch fans. And then I said, I've never seen anything David Lynch ever did besides Twin Peaks. I don't know anything about him. I just think that that is a remarkable TV show. Well, hold on. I, I want to clarify that I don't, I I don't have anything against da over analytical David Lynch fans. I think that that people are allowed to be fans of whatever they want. And if you get, uh, if you get gratification out of liking a thing, do do it. That's totally great. Don't I don't begrudge you for that at all. No, but it's uh, still it's still allowed to bother you. No. Yeah, well, it's I, I'm not bothered by the fans, but Jordan, I could do you think just, that they might have been duped. Could you please just admit that you are a fascist loather of David Lynch fans? <laughs> <laughs> it's when the mic. You guys have not heard anything until you've heard Jordan talk about David Lynch when the mics are off. It's disgusting. <laughs> the things that he says about David Wait, Lynch fans. You want <clears throat> you want to hear someone shit talk David Lynch? Try watching Mulholland Drive with Andy. My God, that was probably the most the worst movie experience, movie watching experience I've ever had. Really? Well, Andy doesn't like anything. <laughs> Andy only likes tiny birds, tiny wings, tiny wings, <laughs> tiny, birds. Uh, tiny bird wings, tiny wings, and uh, Halo One. I think are the two. Those are the only two things that Andy likes. Certainly doesn't like Halo Four, dickhead. I haven't played that yet. So good. does anyone like Halo Four? So I mean, I've never played good. a Halo game. Halo Four is super good. It, it uh, reviewed well. I think Joystick gave it four stars, four and a half. Yeah, I think. Jordan, I think... ask me how many stars I give it. How many stars do you give Five it, Kyle? Five stars. That's a lot. That's all Ask of them. me how many I give it. How many stars do you give it, Keith? Still five stars. Man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that game's really good. How weird is it in the gaming community for someone to have never played a Halo game? Because that's me. Uh, uh, not super that's weird. super weird. It's an Xbox exclusive. So there's plenty of people that it's, have just never, never it's, played I'll them. say it's not the least weird thing in the world. Yeah, it's like a little bit weird that you've never even played one, but most people have never played a, or a lot of people have never played a lot of Halo. I mean, I've played like multiplayer, like at a friend's house for a few minutes. Yeah, there I've you go. Played. Okay, that counts. Like, I've like never, counts. I've never played like this single Fishy. player campaign or anything. Okay, which All one right, was number fish. two? Number two is the Beetle guy. Beetle. Um. That that one. Yep. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Just want to check all the other ones. I feel like I remember there being like two beetles or something. It was yeah. the one that looked sort of like a jellyfish too. Uh, no, it looks. But yeah, see, there's this one that is like kind of, it's like a red herring. Oh, or is uh, it? That no. Cranbrook it's... says they talk about Andy like they went through a, a super ugly breakup. No, he just like won't talk to us. <laughs> and not because he doesn't like us, because he 
forgets he's to, just a lunatic. is super irresponsible and Number only three about, is the frog three is the frog only about yeah. and stuff. He's, he seems like he's responsible in other aspects of his life for the most part have y'all ever considered that maybe andy has like a really really intense uh social anxiety disorder that he's keeping secret no 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 um he, uh, Number four is uh, the penguin dinosaurs. Penguin dinosaurs, thank you. He's a pretty... He, I mean, he wants to be a theater teacher. He's been doing improv for like eight years. Yeah. He's a pretty scariest dude. He, he's he he's a never teacher. had a lack of friends. Like, he's never yeah, he been a, afraid he has a, he to has party. Like, almost an unbelievable amount of friends. Aw, <laughs> the fucking platypus <laughs> dancer looks so cute on the rock. And then five uh, is the whale. And the whale. fifth one is the whale, the fish god. Yeah. I have to. I ha, I can't overemphasize this. I feel like I really talked up the difficulty of Riven, and then we're not having that hard of a time with it. But like, I think we're just this, really, really good at Riven. The, like putting logicking out this animal puzzle like by yourself, I feel like is nigh impossible. Do we feel like this is the one? Mm, it's whatever the one was that. It's whatever the rocks looked like. The rock formation. That one. You think it's this? I mean, that's the closest to the fish god. I mean, I feel like this is definitely the fish god. I just, I, I guess it's this one. I'll... Again, to uh, kind of go with the side by side longest oh. journey and Riven comparison since I've played some more of that today. It's just oh. kind of interesting to yes. see the. Uh... <gasps> yes. Sorry, John. I'm gonna have to cut you <laughs> off right. because something resume. something pretty dope is about to happen. We are fucking great at Riven. Oh man, you got a wavy portal coming on. This game's way better than Mist. Now go get that little ghost. Um, what's in there? What's what's in there? We're in Dojo since he has better friends now. Uh, I've met, incidentally, one of his other friends, and I asked that friend. Hey, is Andy a flake for you too? What? Yeah, he is. What? 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 That's the cover of the game. There aren't supposed to be linking books here. Let's, That's the whole point. Let's go there. Ooh, this is very nice. I'm pretty excited. Oh man! It looks pretty um, pretty cool. It, it, it was staring us in the face the whole time. I totally forgot about the cover of the game. Yeah, yeah. I've clicked. Or maybe I have to wait until the animation finishes, or... Okay, now we can go. Man. What oh, if we haven't been a, in Riven at all? It's a different warp. No, no, we were definitely in Riven. Riven. Okay. Uh, okay, can't just walk towards it. I have oh, to man. walk away from it. Oh my god. And that thing oh. is super cool. Oh man! Oh, no. Yes. No. It's, it's, you, that, that dude has a stormtrooper with him. <laughs> so maybe it was a tranquilizer dart, right? Oh, you got tranked. We should save. Sure. We beat it. No. See, it's up there. <laughs> I left my keys up there. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Are we definitely almost at the end of this game? Um. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. So much for that twelve-hour prediction. I'm. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I did this, like last. Uh, but maybe it was just because it took me so long before I just went and found a guide to tell me about the animal puzzle. Anyways, as I was saying before, that whole little thing, um, just, it's interesting how, like, seeing this alongside playing The Longest Journey, just, like, the different modes of, like, point-and-click puzzle construction, or, like, this is so, like, it has its own logic. Yeah. unto itself like as a world and whereas in the longest journey everything is just like a random ass like so oh, do you, you not like longest journey 
I do because I like the the story and the wor- like the world of it, but the puzzles are just okay. so like fucking random. I can't stand it. It's just like, oh, you need this eyeball from this toy monkey that you left in this part of the city to do this <laughs> other random thing. It's like really like. Why are you guys uh, pumped for ball? the new Grim Friendango update? Yes. Uh, so yeah, I've, yeah. I've never played that game, so it'll be fun yeah. to oh finally is. do it so good those controls are so bad i am so glad that they are updating <laughs> oh, yeah. a real fucking control well, what could system. the controls be they're just tank controls right yeah but they're really awkward bump like think of how clumsy silent hill tank controls are and it's a lot worse than that really mm-hmm. yeah 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 okay. and your character is like really slow man i haven't played that game since it came out i don't think oh i played it for the first time a couple Cut of years ago, last year Kyle, can you put that bowl in your inventory? No. <laughs> ah, Michael Jackson. Katrina, yapai manai yelepo. Malaya toparanda. You got that way wrong. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that our book? Oh, she's just speaking Somalian. Why? <laughs> I noticed on the Starry Expanse uh, blog page they were ask- actually asking for people that could translate Ravinian, <laughs> which seems weird. Is that our book? Oh, okay. No, that's our, that's a bowl. Um, so there is. I think this is a journal from Catherine. I linked to Raven a week ago. This, yeah, I can't read this. The smell of what? The the smell of the place overwhelmed me oh. moments before I could see anything. Uh, maybe we should just uh, leave this for later reading. Because I think, if I remember correctly, it goes on pretty long. I'll Who writes in a book like this? Assholes, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Is it doing that thing again? Yep, yeah, hold on. You fuckers. I write quickly to my prison. Just... Near. Hmm? Something. <laughs> Near milk, return your book. <laughs> it says. <laughs> which? It looks like it says Nela. Nela will return your book, which the. Something something intercepted, intercepted upon, upon your, your arrival. arrival. After Boy, questioning he... her, I've concluded that it was written by At- Atris for a very specific purpose. Gin will uh, desire to use it, although he may have suspicions. If you can find my prison, you will still need the combination to, re- to release me. Gin keeps it in his office. Then, I assume, we were to signal Atris. I think I know how it might be done, but don't, don't signal him before I'm released. Yep. Catherine. Catherine. Uh, Chamber says, I feel like I can never take Keith's word on controls because he has weird alien hands or something. Um, the, the, yeah, you're right. You do have, are widely, uh, hated. That's fair. That you do have weird hate. alien hands or something. Yeah. You see my hands, Kyle. They're not that weird. Well, I don't, I'm they're just, not, my, I have, I have I have three really weird stumpy fingers coming out of the back of my hand, <laughs> but the the main part of the hand is fine. <laughs> I was watching American Ninja Warrior, and one of the people that they had on had a sixth toe on one of his feet. That's an unfair advantage. Yeah, I think that helped him climb by about ten yeah. percent. Uh, Apparently, it wasn't because he didn't do very well. Well, because he was nervous. People made him self-conscious about his toe. Think of how bad he would have done without the toe. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So is this some kind of like refugee age for these people who are secretly plotting against Gen? Yes. Okay. This is like, yeah, this is where they hide out, basically. So that thing on the cover of Riven is basically like a big... I don't know, compound or something. Is 
So the combination to Catherine's prison is in Gin's office. That's what she says. Now, is the thing that we've been calling Gin's office actually Gin's office? I think so. Probably, no, we're probably wrong about that. Yeah, see, this goes on for a while. Hmm. Yeah, it says, uh, Gin wrote this place, and it will die, as all of Gin's ages eventually die. Damn. I feel nothing today. I am nothing. I live in a cave on a dying world inhabited by people that... something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Being on River is, Riven is a bummer. Johnny Crater said, honestly, I like the Duke. Yeah, I like the Duke, too. Shut up. Fun controller. Stupid dumb idiot. Oh, wait. This no. is this is the thing. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time since my last entry. It's hard to recognize, but I have found the, the star fissure. The star like fissure is where a Atris drops the linking book to mist that we found. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, it is located on the island, which the Rivenese call Alapo, meaning water pool. Uh, Johnny Crater said, I also dislike the Wii controller. I also dislike the Wii controller. The Okay. Are you, do you mean Wii U? Can... I'm going to need to write oh, this here down. We go. No, the Wii, the Wii Mote Nunchuck combo. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, yeah, that sucks. I, I would say, honestly, the worst thing about it is just that it doesn't have a second analog stick. That's like, that's the, that's 90% of what's wrong with that. The Wii Pad is fantastic, though. Yeah, I like, I like that. I don't, uh, I would, I don't like holding two things in my hand and they're different and, uh, like, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good is, to have. Uh, Kyle, can you read this aloud while I draw these symbols down in order? Two, one, three, four, two. No, I mean what what she's saying about oh, okay. Uh, hold on, let me go back one. Um, but which is referred to by the hoity as Alatuam or Alatuan, meaning pool of stars. Having once allowed Atris to escape this age without leaving an open door behind us, it has since been sealed with a skin of heavy iron. Okay, so. Apparently, Atris escaped Riven, like, at, you know, prior to the beginning of Mist, and that's what... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, that was, I think, something I might have missed the first time I played, uh, so I was kind of confused about how all that worked, but... Okay. A crude telescope has been mounted over the locked viewport, the combination to which was acquired by the Hoity before my arrival. Two, one, three, four, two. Okay. Uh, in the early days, the Hoity, seeking an escape from Riven, briefly pursued the, I Oop. the idea of reopening the fissure. Uh, they discovered a small mechanical stop to prevent the scope from hitting the portal window. Ultimately, however, they decided against opening it. I hate to think what would have happened to them if they had not left it alone. Uh... I've instructed them to stay away from it. I'm almost certain that with the decayed state of the islands, opening the fissure now would be disastrous. I have heard okay. that in the days immediately following Gen's... Uh, confinement. Can, oh. Following Gen's confinement? Uh, oh, confinement on Ribbon. He attempted to... This is a lot of words. Yeah, because because whenever uh, Atris escaped Riven, he took all the linking books with him. Right. Trapping Gen yeah. there. Okay, yeah, we don't have to keep going with this. Um, so that sounds like opening the Starfisher is going to be our signal to Atris to come in and, 
and get us the fuck out, but we have to yeah. find Catherine's prison first. Right. So this was all probably written before she was imprisoned. The door is open and Gen is free. Gen has the ability to create working books. In fact, he had written one age before I arrived, but he has kept this accomplishment so well hidden that only his closest ministers were aware until now. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Is this one of the, the missed books you were talking about? Just this? Is this they <laughs> printed this so that you could buy it and read it in your own time? That'd be cool. I don't think so, though. Oh I think I have God. one of those books at home, actually. I'm going to get them on Kindle, I'm pretty sure. I think I may need to call it a night soon. I'm about to... Uh, we should all probably do that. About to, are are, are, are we going to cut it here? And so next time can be the conclusion of Riven, where we go rescue Catherine and open the Starfisher? I don't know if we're that close, but we can definitely try. Cool. But tonight I finally rest. Tomorrow I will return to Riven to see Gen's reaction for myself. But tonight I finally rest. Seems like a pretty good uh, uh but there was also this indication book. What's this green oh the prison book or Yeah, that's Yeah, that's the prison book. It's it, it is made to look as though um it is a book back to Denis. I trapped myself. <laughs> Man, that guy looks really cool. I know, right? Oh, maybe I was supposed to do that. I think this is the bad ending. No, maybe this is something I was supposed to do. There's a bad ending in Raven? There's a bad ending in Mist. Two of them. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Robin Miller and Richard. Oh, okay. So you fucked up? You got fucked up? Yeah, but I knew that. That's why I saved it. So right there's the bad ending. There okay. you go. Great. So yeah, so that's the prison book made to look like it goes to Denis, because you can... Uh, I've learned that you can make a linking book that actually goes somewhere and then change minor things about the text in the linking book to make it like a, what you already left these things for me what is oh okay. I can't understand you. <laughs> but yeah, you can basically like you can change minor like minor things in the code of the linking book. Yeah, and then it'll to, take you to a place that's like very very similar but technically a different place. Yeah. Yeah, like like it, it puts you in in a nowhere. Like like it starts the process of moving you to where it was supposed to and oh. then breaks basically. Interesting. Um, so you get trapped between ages. So that was a, a thing. That was great. That was the that was the most exciting thing that's happened so far. Mm -hmm. mm. How far back do we go? What's up? How far back do we go when we reloaded from the ending? Oh, none. Okay. We saved immediately. I like literally saved and then did it. That's what I thought. But we were doing more stuff, so I thought like the good ending was going to be right next to the bad ending. Oh no 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 no. We, we have to go rescue Catherine and uh, do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so we still... Because we, we did the animal puzzle. We, like, technically we're one step closer to ending the game. But mm -hmm. we're not any closer to getting started on that whole puzzle that involves, like, the different sectors of the island and stuff. 
Oh, right. Like, I forgot about that. Like, forgot about like that the too. whole animal puzzle and the thing that we just did is necessary to finish the game, but it doesn't actually get us closer to that ending. Which is kind of weird. God darn. Yeah, we still don't we still don't know where Catherine's prison is either. Hmm. Um Are you doing crafts, John? No. Why? Oh, I sounded like you had some scissors. Oh, I was clicking a pin, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just assumed it was John. It was John making weird noises. John's still here? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Remember we were talking all about I'm uh, still here. Oh, it with Emerson Lake and Palmer? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to get another bad ending? Yeah. I really do. Maybe this can be the last thing we do before we end. So what's the combination? Two, one, three, four, two. Two, one, three, four, two? Yep. Oh. Hmm. There it is. That's the nice starfisher. Gotcha. That's a bad ending. Look at those nice stars. Oh, hold on. I think there's. Look at that pretty skybox. Oh. Uh... Now keep going. I wonder what sound vault they pulled that squeaky wheel turning out of. <laughs> you don't think Cyan does all its own Foley work? No, I don't think so. Check this out. Oh man, that's cool. Shit. It sucked up this all the color. This game looks crazy good. Right? Yeah. Oh no. That was a little weak, but you know. this may have been a mistake. Yeah, kind of. What to see this ending? Yeah. Well, just Why? to do this in general, not to see the ending. Oh, okay. In the context of the game, it was a bad idea. He's like, dude, you didn't save my girlfriend. So much time. Where's Catherine? He looks about the like maybe five or six years older than his kids. I don't understand. You never did. Ken is really close by. Father. Father. I am no longer your father because you are no longer my son. <laughs> did we know already that Ken was his father, or Damn. was that just speculation? Yeah. No, no, we knew that. Because we guessed that at the end of Mist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't really remember at what point we learned that for sure. It's in the book. I don't know what you thought you were doing, but... Thank you. I finally am... free. You're welcome. No problem, Gen. That's a shitty way to thank me. These guys are all yeah, asshole. what a jerk. Oh my god. I want to let him win. Wow. That was like super cool. It was cool, but fuck that guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's so, um, it's probably a good stopping the, point. The guy that plays Atris is also the guy that played Akinar. Oh. And that's Robin Miller. Oh. I just assumed they got a third guy, and the third guy was actually some kind of actor. Oh, so wow! So that guy could actually act. Yeah, let me let me make one hundred percent for sure that it's Robin Miller. No, I, I think it's Rand Miller. I don't. Is it Rand? So. No, it's Rand Paul. I don't know, is it? I I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm it's definitely sure. Rand Miller, but I don't think I'm not sure that Rand Miller plays Atris. According to IMDb, Rand Miller plays Atris in Mist. Oh, okay. 
Well, never mind then. Oh, I guess we're going to find out right here. Yeah, Rand Miller, Atris. Oh, it was Rand. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was one of them. Why does why does the guy playing Gen get his own his own section? Special like thanks to Gen. Real life famous, maybe. I doubt it. Featuring special guest star Gen. This game came out in like 1998. No games in 1998 had people that were real world famous. That's not true. The Tex Murphy games always had real pe- real life famous people. There was that video game with uh, Bruce Willis in it, <laughs> Apocalypse. James Earl. Also- James Earl Jones was in the first uh, Tex Murphy FMV game. Cool. And then there was the Power Rangers game. So, John, have you played uh, any, uh, what's it called? The new one? Tesla Effect? Yeah, yeah, I played all the way through it. Yeah? What do you think? Um, it was, it was good. It was definitely not as strong as the older ones. Uh. The puzzles were not as varied, and the story kind of had a weak ending compared to the other ones. But, you know, I enjoyed it. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Sounds like you really hated it. Yeah. I'm sorry <laughs> you enjoyed that game. Um, are they going to do more? Do you, do you know if it did well at all? I think th- that's the intention, yeah. That's good. Good for them. Maybe now Maybe now that they uh, got their feet wet a little bit, they can work on the puzzles, do some better puzzles? I don't see why they couldn't just do it in the first place. I mean, they <laughs> clearly did better puzzles back it's, in the I day. mean, it's hard to, it's hard to make puzzles. <laughs> I think the majority of their budget for that game went to um, making sure people knew about it. That well, that and just also like the video production of it. Mm-hmm. Because that game looks really good. There's three cranes on this team. Did you play a Tesla effect, Jordan? Uh, no, I, I watched uh, the quick look for it. Oh yeah. Three cranes as in three people named Crane or three crane operators? No, like the storks. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, Tesla Effect is actually the only new game that's come out this year that I've played to completion. You should play more games to completion. All right, we get it, Riven Credits. Jeez. Should I? What's come out this year <laughs> that I should play? Uh, good point. Well, uh, the Sun at Night came out in February. You should yeah, play Sun that. Night. You should what play that. You should play what Sun at came night? out this year um, that you should play? That's a really good question. Oh, what? Also, I, mean, I know that I've played good games this year. I just don't know. Shovel Knight's great. Um, I played Act Three of Kentucky Route Zero. I guess Shovel Knight is pretty good. Really want to play that game, but I haven't yet. Kentucky or Shovel Knight? Kentucky. Yeah, Shovel Knight's know. very good. Uh, really let me like look at my Steam guy. thing. What did, what did I buy recently? I mean, I will play Bravely Default to completion. I'm just in the middle of it. Hey, you know what you played this year? Persona 4. You should keep doing it. I'll get back to that at some point. Oh, you didn't have you didn't have a fun time playing when we were playing on the video, John? I, I did have a fun time, yeah, but, you yes. know, other other they, things came up. No, they didn't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, no, they did. Huh. Sorry. Hmm. I feel good think. about the progress we made today. Yeah, I'm just so. I'm just so off put by the fact that I just I feel like I literally have no idea what to do next about the color puzzle thing. Yeah, we've got we've got the color puzzle. Um, oh, that's probably Catherine's prison then. Uh, One of those ages has Catherine in it, I would guess. Uh, yeah, maybe. I really don't remember, which is fun for me. So. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess that's a that's a Riven stream. Yeah, I'll actually. Uh, if there's anyone out there, either in a different time zone or just hates themselves and doesn't want to sleep, I'll go upload the part three of the mist let's mm-hmm. play right now though i think yeah yeah no i'll go upload it now and then it should be available to watch on youtube in like 30 minutes an hour i don't know it's a pretty yeah. good upload i oh, mean you're gonna have a fun time editing this video kyle because i played guitar in it when you were gone yeah i'll just yeah i'll just slash and burn all that <laughs> That's that's fine. I don't know how it sounded. It probably wasn't great. 
I thought it was pretty good. Thank you, Jordan. I haven't performed uh, music for anybody in like four or five years. So who knows? Um, what are you doing? Nothing. Are you just going to keep playing Riven? Let's just ride the tracks just for fun. Just one last time. Right? Remember this? This is a good time. Right? Yeah, no, it's a good time. Man, that was fun. Wow. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm glad we did that. Hey, Keith. Yo, what's Keith. Yeah, what's up? Remember to send me the old Complex Rockets podcast. Okay, what's your email? Hey. Say it, say it hey, out buddy. loud right here for hey. everybody. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you just go on Patreon and pledge us $3 a month like every other? Yeah, I already did, yeah, I already did that. Or $6 already did. I'm not fucking pledging to hear podcasts that I'm on. Eh. <laughs> Food for the fish god. What is that guy's name? I'm going to find out what that guy's name is. Uh, his name's Ben. Ben? Okay. Hey, Ben. <laughs> hey, Ben. Sorry, that, that, I, I realized how dickish that sounded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking Ben. No, but you know. It'd be cool if you just said No. Oh, do I know? What do I know? Tell me what I know. Do I know that uh, you feel like you know you're more cool. special than other people and you're entitled to things that they don't get? Is that, we is that what I know? Feel, there. Since I, I'm at least entitled to the ones that I was on. Are you? I don't, yeah. I think uh, I am. Are you? Yeah. I am. Hold on. Well, now we're never going to be able to get back. <laughs> I, uh, Kyle, every time we end it, you just keep going. I know. I'm the worst. Uh, Jordy, you should talk about where to get your game again and where to vote for it. Um, you can buy it on Humble Store or on Desura, um, or I think, let me Does check and see. Does anyone buy anything on Desura? Uh, our Desura sales have been pretty good. I don't have exact figures, but... Uh, Did our, Desura tell you that? Got... No. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, you have 22, or you have a day... You have one day left to get it for a dollar or more uh, as part of this groupies bundle. Uh, and you also get a bunch of other games that may or may not be good, but are probably pretty good. And uh, if you want to vote for us on Greenlight, you could do that and uh, at uh, greenlightthunderdome.com, which is a URL that uh, Dan Teasdale of No Goblin so graciously pointed at our cause. Nice. Yeah, it was it was nice of him. He's a he's a good guy. Yeah, I, I assume that that must have been what happened when you started using that after he he was using it. Yeah, he they uh he was using it for his game Roundabout uh for their for their uh Greenlight trial and then once once they uh made it through, he repurposed it. And I figure that once Sun at Night eventually makes it through, we'll, we will relinquish it and it'll it'll go on to to assist some other worthy cause. I didn't realize we could see this bridge from here. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. All right, I'm going to be the first one to uh, take some action in GTFO. Okay. So, farewell, guys. Good night. Always a pleasure, John. Goodbye. Indeed. Hey, John, see you later. Love you. Likewise. Fairly well. Hmm. So, is this water or is it steam? Uh, those are kind of the same thing, Jordan. I hope it didn't like blow your mind or anything. Just then. What what do you what do you mean they're the same? Water and steam, they're kind of, they're like the same substance. I I don't follow. Well, I think you'll have to talk to Gabe Newell about this. Okay. I'm sure he can explain. Keith, you want to play us out?
Maybe Keith's dead. No, I'm here. I was just I was just tuning my guitar. <laughs> and uh, you guys were you guys were chatting away like a bunch of jerks, so I had to take my headphones out real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's up? I said, do you want to play us out? Oh yeah, sure. I'll play you out. That's right. why I was tuning my guitar. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was playing us out. <laughs> You're still going. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry.